Welcome to the island of Heime, one of the Vestman Islands off the south coast of Iceland. Here in the North Atlantic, we're looking up at the eruptive vent from the 1973 eruption. This is Elfeld. So this is the cinder cone that formed from that big historic eruption. And as we look down here along the ground, we see it's lava flow. So the lava flow associated with that eruption, you can see the edge of the flow there where it abuts the grassy hill. And of course, with these basaltic lava flows, one of the things we often find in basaltic lava flows are lava tubes. Lava tubes are common features in these basaltic lava flows. This one's called uh, Paxa Helir, and so we're going to go check this one out. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey here on the island of Heime off the coast of Iceland. And we're gonna go check out this lava tube here. Found out about this just you know a few hours before I had to leave on the ferry. So I thought we'd come down here, check it out together, see what features we can find, and just do a little geology exploration. Okay, so we can see the opening of the lava tube here. Pretty easy entry. And all lava tubes are subject to collapse. They tend to not last too long on the landscape, and they tend to collapse over time. This one we can see is almost like shaped like a, a subway tunnel. It's very open, it's what makes them pretty easy to explore for the most part. Um, this one is fairly tall here. If we look though over to this side where it continues on, it gets a little bit smaller. In fact, it looks like it's a bit uh, nested. There's one there and then there's another opening down here. If we kind of peer into this one, I do have a flashlight, but not a helmet. And I'm not particularly fond of ducking down. Although I think I can see the end of this one. So this one looks like it's pretty much collapsed and filled in. So let's go through the main open section uh, over here. Let's get our feet down this little slope. Here we are. Oh, and so we can see that the roof has actually collapsed in uh, right here, forming a skylight. So you can see that opening there in the roof of the lava tube. And you can see also some of the lava that was coating the walls and actually uh, dripping down. You can see some of the striations, the marks where the lava was just basically oozing down the walls of the tube as it was drained out. So lava tubes, of course, formed by lava flows, channels that become crusted over on top in the roof, but the rock continues to insulate the rest of the flow. And so you end up with a tube. And then once the lava supply wanes, when the eruption is ending, that's when the tube gets hollowed out. And that's when you end up with this actual conduit we see here. So a nice little section here. Um, let's see, some other cool features along the wall. Again, more of the, the striations here where the lava flow is dripped back down uh, into the interior. And then it looks like it opens back up again after a short distance. So we'll look back behind us there. Let's see the two openings there, the skylight and then the main opening of the tube system there. Nice pohoi hoi type uh, ropes on the floor of the cave. And then it opens back up. Let's see if we, if there's a continuation of this flow further on. Again, all from 1973, pretty incredible. Lava tube, it's quite young. 
Yeah, so it looks like this section's collapsed. You can actually see we're probably in part of the lava channel where the tube completely collapsed here with all this rubble. I uh, don't see the tube continue on, but it, it might. You could probably trace this out, follow it for a bit, and see if it uh, opens back up again. But yeah, sort of looking around the corner there, it looks like it's still pretty much collapsed. Well, thanks for joining me on this short little excursion here, just checking out this lava tube from the 1973 eruption on the island of Heimei. Thanks so much for your support of the channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.